Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush. And as you can see from the screen over there, I've got my headset view because I'm gonna do some control panel stuff today. We've seen how we're losing poly in the near future, unless you're in the near future, in which case the recent past. But for now, we've got that coming to look forward to. So we've got a video on how to use Sketchpad as a way to upload and exchange and save your Tilt Brushes. You can also use Google Drive as a way to load in and use your various pieces. So Google Drive is actually built in to Tilt Brush already. And by having a Google account, you can have access to that. So I'm gonna step behind the video here so we can get a good look at the headset, handset. And this is actually built into the sketchbook itself. So I'm gonna to try to hold this so it's not covering up too much. Sketchbook. Now here in the sketchbook, we've got the Google Drive backup up in the corner up here. If you've never done this before, it may require the standard login as most Google stuff does. But once you've logged in, we can just tap on that and it brings us into the Google Drive backup. So I'm gonna look at that so you get a good view on both screens here. Hopefully you guys can see that. It gives you a selection of things you want to add to the backup. Sketches is your tilt files themselves, so make sure you do include the actual sketches as part of your backup. Exports would be any 3D models that you export, things like the GLB format, that type of thing. Exports. Snapshots and videos are the ones taken from the in tilt brush cameras. So the camera path videos would be here. And by checking that in, it's going to be saved to your Google Drive account. The media library. That's especially important if you like to import pictures or videos into your tilt file. The media library, hopefully that's on surface enough for you guys to see. That's why we've got the video camera so you can see my uh, eagle eye view here. The media library also puts all your images and videos into your Google Drive account. Especially useful if you're going to and from the Quest and other uh, media storage short facilities. View on Drive actually lets you open up your Google Drive account. Now, just because it's in Google Drive, that doesn't mean Tilt Brush is gonna find it. If you put your Tilt file into Google Drive, you'll still need to copy that Tilt file into the Tilt Brush folder in Documents for Tilt Brush to be able to see it. So you can use Google to exchange files, email a link to the file, but once that link has been downloaded, you need to copy the Tilt sketch into the appropriate Tilt folder just as usual. So the Google Drive backup, you can disable it if you don't want it happening. View on Drive opens the internet browser and picking and choosing what goes into the Google Drive. This is built into your versions of Tilt Brush. So hopefully you can all see all that. Google backup built in. Hopefully this is helpful. This gives you some alternatives to Sketchfab as a place to upload and store all of your stuff. So hopefully this will give you guys some reassurance uh, that it's not all going away. And hopefully it'll also give you some uh, places where you can share your files. Send them to friends, send them to strangers, and see who appreciates the artwork. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let us know if there are any questions or comments. We do actually read the comments and use it to get ideas for upcoming lessons. So let us know if there's something else you'd like to learn about. Thanks guys for watching. Have fun with Build Brush. I feel like Godzilla back here. This is great. <laughs>